Hello, and welcome to the We're Not Stump podcast. I'm your host, Mike Boland, and I'm a congenital amputee of the right hand. In this show, I will interview other amputees and allow them to tell you their incredible life stories. I'll also feature family members of amputees and others who support the amputee community, all in an effort to discuss the challenges and triumphs of those living with limb loss. So stick around and listen to inspirational stories and find out why we say we're not stumped. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the We're Not Stumped podcast. I'm your host, Mike Bolin, and today, I've done it a few times, I'm going it alone. I'm going to do that again today. Today's going to be the official end of season three, and we're going to start out with season four here shortly. Matter of fact, I'll get into this in just a second, but I've already recorded the first episode for season four. But before we get into that, I want to talk about season three a little bit, because I've had fantastic guests on. So if you want to know, if you want to learn a little bit more about the amputee community, I highly recommend going to season three and listen to some of these people. It started out with Dr. Eric Gabriel. He is a bilateral above knee amputee. He spent years playing softball and baseball and had a professional career for many years. Very much a good listen and I thank Eric for being on. Then second was Jeanette Jones. She is missing her left leg. Uh, it's a hip articulation, I believe, is exactly how you say it. I don't want to do that any injustice by how I explain it, but she explains it very well on the podcast. So that's season three, episode two. And when we go into season three, episode three, I had both Dan Moses and Jennifer J.J. Johnson back on the podcast. Fun people. I learned so much from them every time they're on. Take a listen to them. Uh, Dan is a bilateral below knee and Jennifer J.J. Johnson is a bilateral above knee. They've become friends in the couple years that I've known them. So thank you for being on. And then when we go to season season three, episode four, I had Angie Sando on. Angie is the closest to me of anyone I've ever had on this podcast. She was born without a right hand just like me, but she plays in a band. She plays guitar in a band. She rides motorcycles, and she's a fantastic person. So want to learn a little bit about a congenital, being a congenital amputee? Listen to Angie on Season 3, Episode 4. Episode 5 had Brent Wright on. He's an ABC certified prosthetist and very well knowledgeable. And we we talked about it. I don't wear a prosthetic, but we talked about so many different things when he was on the podcast. I learned so much from him, and you will too. So listen to Episode 5 of Season 3 and listen to Brent Wright. Uh, Episode 6 was J.J. Orsak. He had an unfortunate unfortunate accident when he was working with electricity as an electrician and lost both of his hands but what a what a great person I had him and his wife on and it was just a fantastic episode and I, I can't thank him enough for being on Lisa Stroop was the next one I had on earlier this year earlier in season three she's above knee amputee she lost her leg it, it would if you want to listen to a very interesting story um, listen to hers she unfortunately was in a car accident, got out of the car to check on something, and she was hit by another motorist. So, uh, again, a, a great person and a, a story that is very well worth listening to because she's doing so great in life now, and I thank her again for being on. Then I had Bradley Schubert on. It was, gosh, it was fun having him on. He is the president of the Midwestern Amputee Golf Association and a very much an avid golfer. He is missing one of his legs, and I apologize, I don't remember which one, but you know, listen to the podcast, you'll know all about it. It, it doesn't stop him, and he is an avid golfer and is now the president uh, of, the, of his local amputee golf association, so it's fantastic. Then I had Bruce Manzan on. I had two people on that had very interesting stories like Bruce is on. For, first of all, Bruce... I'll, I'll quickly tell you an abridged version, but I strongly recommend that you listen to Bruce in his own words on season three. Which one? I don't have the episode number in front of me. I apologize, but look up Bruce Manzan. He was hit by a DUI driver when he was on his motorcycle, and as you can tell, as you can well imagine, it was a traumatic experience for him. But what he has done is go to 
visit the person that hit him in jail and he's trying to help that gentleman in his life straighten his life out again fantastic story I have another story like that in just a second Kara Strubus a cancer survivor I believe she was 16 when she was stricken with cancer and lost one of her legs because of it but she is now working with an organization that helps others going through the same cancer she does she, she did, pardon me, and you, you have to listen to that episode. She is just a fantastic person. Then I had Tracy LaMarchand, an amputee, but a bodybuilder. And Tracy's story was just uh, one of perseverance where she got back on stage as an amputee. There's pictures if you look at the YouTube, and her social media is full of great stories about her as an amputee and getting back on stage just fantastic. Terry Tucker. Terry Tucker was a college basketball player and he came down with cancer and unfortunately he still is battling cancer but he lost his leg because of the cancer and his story is one of again just thinking about the other side trying to give back like almost all of these people that I've had on. Next person was and I, the next person was Dan Aldridge and Dan is the president of the, Na the North American one Arm Golf Association. And this is where I'm starting to expand the We're Not Stump podcast and not just amputees, but adaptive people as well. So when it comes to the, Nat the North American one Arm Golf Association, he is not an amputee, but because of a skiing accident, he is paralyzed in his left arm. So he plays golf one-handed or one-armed, however you want to say that. And they have so many events, and with his leadership, they're expanding even more. So if you're into sports, golf, listen to Bradley, listen to Dan, both of those episodes were fantastic. Then I had John Werner on. John Werner's a right below knee amputee. I'm actually looking at the list here. That's what, if, you're, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll, you'll tell that it, my eyes keep moving around, and that's not generally how I do it. But John's story was very interesting interesting as well. 41 years at Xerox and a few months I believe after he retired he had a pain in one of his legs that led to the amputation of one of his legs uh, I believe it was below knee. But that didn't stop him again. And, but he went through depression a little bit to get to where he's at now and his story is one that resonates with many. So I would say give that one a listen. Then I went on location in Marana, Arizona for an organization, again, more adaptive than just, than just being an amputee and congenital limb loss, limb difference. Freedom's Wings, Arizona. And what they do is they take adaptive people up in gliders and show them the peacefulness of going up in gliders. They're a nonprofit in Arizona. And it was great to go and, and spend a lot of time with them. And the day that I went, I happen to be graced and very blessed to be with the U of A women's adaptive basketball team. And I got to interview two, three, three of the young ladies there. Ah, it, was, it was a great day for me, and I'm very honored. And then lastly, for season three, was Carter Viss. And this is like a lot like Bruce's story that I told you earlier. Carter was hit by a boat while he was snorkeling in in Florida when he was off the coast of Florida and he followed all the correct rules but unfortunately he was still hit by a boat and when he was hit he lost his right arm above the elbow but now he is working with the person who hit him and they are making things they're making it so people are safer in the water they, they've invented a, a new device that to alert boaters where the, the snorkelers and the divers are and again I, I would just say on all of these stories I'm giving you a ver very abridged very quick version of of their stories but listen to their stories go go to these go, go to the podcast and listen to Carter in his own words I mean he's is it's it's amazing he's back to playing piano with one arm he speaks as, as many of the people on the podcast do and I can't thank all of them and certainly all of the people that have been on the podcast can't thank them enough. It's been great for me to learn these stories is just something that uh, it means a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to the people that are listening out there as well. So I had talked a little bit about season four coming underway. I actually recorded the first episode 
of season four just about, uh, let's see, six hours ago from where, when I'm giving this podcast. And I interviewed Carrie Bono. Carrie lost her left leg below the knee less than a year ago. And she's documenting her journey on YouTube. I don't have her. It's Carrie, but you can look up Carrie Bono on YouTube and you can see how she documents her journey. And here's the deal this was one of the funner ones that I was able to do. Her and her husband, Mike, drove down from Utah to come down and record the podcast on location, behind the scenes, right here, right where I'm at, in beautiful Arizona. And I can't thank them enough for doing that. To get to meet them in person and spend time with them was fantastic. And her story, it, it resonates. And it's one that needs to be told. And she is on a mission to tell her story and to help others. So I can't, Carrie, it was great for you to have you come out. Now I'm going to be in the editing phase and, and getting that story. And that should be out. Today is the 14th of May, 13th of May, pardon me, 13th of May. I should have that out by the May 20th. That will be edited and available to listen to on all platforms. The next person I have already scheduled, again, this is going to be more of an adaptive story, but it's a great story. Uh, her name is Alicia Everett, and she is the founder and CEO of a company called Friendly Like Me. And Friendly Like Me, let me give you a little bit of about us. I'm going to read this off their website. So what they do is they it's, a, it's an app that makes it that you can look at very friendly, accessible places where you can go, you know, making it so some of the awkwardness will be out. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll read this. To prevent the awkward or embarrassing situations that arise when a place is not a good fit, people want to know before they go if a place is suitable. But that information is often scarce, subjective, and hard to find. Friendly Like Me is designed to conquer this problem with objective, fact-based reviews completed by people with first-hand experience. So it's going to be great to get her perspective and understand a little bit more about what makes her tick and, and why she put this great tool together, how to get to it, all that. Really looking forward to that. That's going to be in a couple weeks I'll be recording that episode. And then a gentleman I met about a month ago, Jonathan Cowley. And Jonathan is missing his, his right hand uh, like I do, he, but he wears a prosthetic. Uh, he's got a bionic hand. It's a really cool story. And he is a man of many talents. He's a voice actor. He's been in a bunch of movies. He's done a lot of things. He's, he's a professional in the, in the California area, and he's from Britain. Uh, and we just hit it off, and we were on a podcast together, and Afterwards, we ended up just talking for a few minutes, and it was just fun to, to, to get to know him. And I want to get to know him even more, so it was, I mean, hey, would you mind being on my podcast? And he was very gracious to accept, and I'm looking forward to that. So those are the three I have going right now. But as I always do, I, I would love to have you on the podcast. Uh, we want to hear your stories. And now that we're getting more into adaptive and other stories, Let's do it. Let's let's have fun. I'm going to have Ability360 on. They're an Arizona nonprofit that really helps with the all adaptive, inclusive community. I want to hear from them. It's going to be fun. We haven't scheduled that time, so that's why I haven't. I don't have the exact date of that one yet, but they're going to be on. I'm going to have Arizona Disabled Sports. That's a organization that I volunteer with in their bowling program. I'm looking forward to having them on. But again, I want to have you. I want to have more of these stories. These stories, when you share them, help other people that are in similar situations but maybe in different parts of their path in their own journey. So please come on. If you don't know how to get a hold of me, Mike at MikeBolin.com. On my personal website, which is more of my speaking and some of the other things I do, MikeBolin.com, there's a Contact Us form. But right on the We'reNotStump.com website, there is a contact form there. Please use it. Reach out to me. And if nothing else, if you just want to spend a few minutes with me to see if, if you'd be a good fit or I'd be a good fit for you to record the podcast, go ahead and schedule some time. We'll, we'll, we'll sit and we'll talk and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll hit it off and you'll be, feel very comfortable being on, on the podcast because that's what it's all about, I, sharing these stories. Everyone that has been that has done it so far, I can't thank them enough. It, it's just uh, it's been a great journey for me to be able to learn from so many great people. Lastly, I want to talk about something I did over the weekend. 
uh, my website is called or my this podcast is called We're Not Stumped. But I've developed a one man show called I'm Not Stumped, and I had a performance of that over the weekend in a very prestigious theater in Arizona called the Herberger Theater. Great turnout, uh, two shows, and basically what I do is I do a little stand-up comedy, which I enjoy doing, but then I tell the story of me and how I've been able to do things with one hand my whole life, and really the story isn't about me. The story is about my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my family now, my wife, my two girls. It's all about the people that have come into my life that enabled me and helped me be the person that I am now. And that's what the show is all about. I recorded it, so there's going to be a recording of that. When I say I recorded it, I hired out people to record it, very talented people, and I can't wait until I have the episode or the the show ready to share. But I'm not going to share the show. It's not, it's not just going to go on YouTube and be public. The show is going to be set to private. Only people with the URL with the with the link can, can view it. There's many reasons for that, some strategic that I don't want to get into, but if anybody if anyone wants to see the show once it's completed, and it's going to be about a month before the deliverable of the of the actual show is, is ready to go. Reach out, I'll send you the link. Uh, again, it's not something that's going to be public, uh, at least at this stage, but again, looking forward to seeing where that show can go because it's something that I think it's uh, I think it's worth talking about the stories of how others, other people, two-handed people, can be impactful and help me as a one-handed person. Two other things too, I was very fortunate. I gave the keynote to the El Mirage Police Department about a week ago and I thank them for that. And I'm gonna be going up into Prescott, which is where the original Billy Jack was filmed. I'm gonna be going up there in June and speaking at the Chevron Retirees function. And I have other other, uh, speaking engagements throughout the time. Those are the two I can speak about publicly. Anybody who wants to hire me to be a speaker, I'm, I'm, I'm available, I love doing it, I tell my story, and I tell it in a way that is inspiring to others. It's not just about a one-handed person and, and how I've been blessed. It's something that it's, it's shareable and how you can also help others and you need to look, hopefully look at your own life, and myself as a cancer survivor and some other things. I've been very lucky and blessed in my life. so. Please reach out to me if you need a speaker. I'd be happy to do it. I enjoy doing it. I love meeting people, and it's always a good time. So that's it for the Season 3 recap of the We're Not Stumped podcast. Again, I thank everyone that's been listening, and I look forward to meeting more people like you where I get the opportunity to interview you on the We're Not Stumped podcast. Stump Podcast, hosted by Mike Bowler. If you want to be a guest on the program, reach out to Mike at his email address, mike at mikebolin.com. This podcast is produced by One Hand Man Productions. If you are looking to start your podcast, go to onehandmanproductions.com.